Hello, in this video, we're going to be solving for the bond's price when dealing with semi-annual interest payments. We have a bond that matures in three years. The bond's face value is $1,000, so at the end of three years, the bondholder will receive the face value back. This bond pays a annual 6% coupon interest rate, and the yield to maturity is 4%. What is the current price of the bond? So first we're going to take the annual coupon interest rate and find the annual coupon interest payment. So we take this 6%, 6% of the face value here is $60. So this bond pays an annual coupon interest payment of $60. On a semi-annual basis, however, we're going to split this $60 into two payments, so a person will receive $30 at the end of six months and another $30 at the end of the next six months. There are two interest payments per year over this three-year period. So in total, the total number of periods is going to be just two times three or six. Again, two interest payments a year, and we're dealing with three years, so we're going to have six periods. And here is our formula, so let me explain. The $30 represents the semi-annual interest payment. So here are the semi-annual interest payments. Notice there are six of them. We're dealing with three years and two payments per year. And this $1,000 over here means at the end of three years, or in this case, the six period, the person will be receiving their $1,000 face value for the bond in addition to that $30 semi-annual interest payment. And so now let me talk about the denominator here, this 1.02. Where is that coming from? So what this is, or what it equals, it's going to be 1 plus, 1 plus the yield to maturity, where the yield to maturity is divided by 2, since we have semi-annual payments. So the yield to maturity divided by 2 is going to be 2%. 4% divided by 2 is 2%, or 0 0.02. So if we add 1 plus half the yield to maturity, we have 1.02 in the denominator. So that's at the end of the first period, at the end of the second period, the third period, the fourth period, the fifth period, and finally at the end of three years or the sixth period, uh, that's where that six is coming from. So if you were to put these values in a calculator or an Excel, the 30 divided by 1.02 is 29.41, 30 divided by 1.02 squared is 28.84, uh, and, and so on and so on. Adding all those payments up, these discounted payments up, we get a bond price of $1,056.01. Uh, this bond price exceeds the face value, and the reason being is that the bond is paying an interest rate that is currently exceeding market rates for a bond of, of a similar type and similar risk. So the bond is selling here at a premium, not at a discount, but selling at a premium. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.